Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing. And I'm fairly certain that this is the premium box because it's so big. The premium box is $35 a month. So, seeing what's inside this box, I haven't, I think I remember from Choice something that I got, something from Too Faced, but I think that's this box, but I'm not 100% for sure. So, card here, but it's breaking the eye the ice but i'm not going to look at that yet the first thing i see here here is from Too faced it is their sugar peach wet and dry face and eye palette this is the thing i cho chose instead of the other just eyeshadow palettes i've been really into um, face palettes here lately and Too faced looks like on the inside we have let's see here smell like peaches so that's nice so all four of those I'm really excited to use this valued at $44 okay the next thing we have in here is from Kat Von D the Lolita eyeshadow what it looks like there it is right there It's pretty. It's kind of like a. It came off more brownish on my hands than it did just looking at it here, but I would almost use that as like my darker transitions shade, like to uh, deepen up the crease. Is Lolita, 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 nineteen dollars for this? No. Okay, the next thing in here is the eyeliner trio, which I'm not a big, I don't use a lot of eyeliner. Plastic on it, of course. Um, if it's by the top of it, I think this one's black. The only time I really use like eyeliners like this is for like the, the waterline and tight lining. Is that what that's called? Oh, it's a sharpener. Yep, you have to sharpen it. So, let me try to do some swatches. Uh, maybe a little dry. One is kind of a brown. It almost looks like it's metallic y on the outside. We shall see. Yeah, I can see some metallic in there. Oh, this one's a lot creamier than the black one, in my opinion. There it is. It went on a lot smoother. This one is like a creamy shade to brighten up your under eye. You can do that because on my pale skin, it's not really showing up. Maybe you can see it. Trio is It's more than the Sugar Peach palette. For pencils. $55. No. No, no, no. Don't do it. $55. <sighs> okay. Next thing in here is from Billion Dollar Brows. It is the best brow kit ever. According to them. So we see, let's see, we have a universal brow pencil, which my brow pencil is getting, I can't crank it anymore, it's too low. A brow duo pencil, oh, so it's like a highlighter for your brow bone, a smudge brush, and a clear brown brow gel. I just got a new clear brow gel from Essence. It was like three, four bucks. This is perfect highlight underneath it's just like a cream that one's a light one that's probably the one that I will have to use and then there's a darker one which I assume to like you know work that underneath the arch of the brow it smooths out very well we have the clear brow gel yep it's clear 
the pencil. It does have a spoolie on the end and a roll-up pencil. Oh, this would be a good shade for me. I don't know. Let's try on this hand. I think that will work for me very well. I'm anxious to use this because since my pencil is practically trash, this will be good for me. That is $42. Sure. Is we have something from Skin Fix. Resurface Plus Glycolic Renewing Scrub. Double duty body peel and polish for rough, bumpy, and crepey skin. Pre-shower and in-shower chemical and manual exfoliator. Let's see what your skin to smooth. Glycolic Renewing Scrub is a double duty chemical peel plus body polish that retexturizes and smooths the appearance of crepey, rough, and bumpy skin. Even keratosis pilaris, also known as chicken skin right here it says that it has 7% glycolic acid and 6% lactic acid staying in here I feel like this is kind of a never-ending box is from Varsali and it is the liquid glass radiant serum with hyaluronic acid I was really excited to get this things about this so I want to, to try it and now I do now I can it looks like Not very much because I assume this is expensive. Oh, did I tell you how much the skin fix thing is? This was forty dollars. All right. Ooh, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. I wouldn't say glitter. It looks like glitter at first, but I think it's just shine. You smell, but I'm not one hundred percent for sure what that smell is. Tacky still, but. It feels really nice on the back of the hand. I'm really anxious to use this. Let's see if it, what it says about it. To plump and improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, it can be used as a hydrating skincare serum or as a radiance boosting primer before makeup. Okay, and that is $54. Truthfully, I am surprised it's not more. Vars all stuff is like super duper expensive. So let's see, that was one, two, three, four, five, six things. I feel like there's a lot more. Maybe it was because there was like four things in this kit, but really how much this box is worth. That value came out at $254 for a $35 box. I feel like that is a great value and I'm really excited about the things that I got because um, I probably would have eventually bought this at some point if I could find it on sale, but now I don't have to. Um, I probably never would have paid the price for this for a fact that I would not have spent $19 on this for a fact absolute complete fact that I would not have paid $55 for these this was the most expensive thing in the box interesting it's nice to have some chemical scrubs and peels that is um, kind of the end of this um, box i do plan on put at the end a try on portion of this video chance i will record that video and attach it to the end of this one so bye for this part wrong you thought this was going to be the try on portion didn't you well my regular boxy charm box came and so i thought i'd film that video too to get started this the regular boxy charm box is only 25 dollars a month be sure that if you buy for the whole year, it's cheaper than $25 a month. Not for sure, but I'm fairly certain. So let's have it's the same theme, the breaking the ice. I don't know why I'm saying the. These T-H-E-E. -E. This is breaking the ice. Okay, first thing I see in here is the Pretty Vulgar, Vulgar Concealer. I figured this is what was coming because I had gotten the sample pack and doing the swatches, you know, I need the palest one. So I figured this was what was, what was coming. Vulgar Concealer in the shade Little White Lies. I call this Little Peach Lies. But, let's see if you can even see it on my hand. I think you should be able to see it on my hand because... It's kind of 
dark for my under eyes maybe okay for like correcting some um, blemishes but I think underneath my eyes it's probably gonna be too dark I could be wrong I'll give it a shot we'll try it out tomorrow and then we can know for sure what I have in here is from oh wait the the pretty vulgar girl the Pretty Vulgar Concealer is $25. Next is from Skin & Co. It is the, from their line, the Truffle Therapy, the Face Gommage. A polishing, micro exfoliating truffle, truffle face gommage. Which I'm not for sure. Is gommage just fancy talk for wash? Scrub? But um, I have not tried this yet. But I uh, just got one of these in my December Ipsy, either Glam Bag or Glam Bag Plus or Glam Bag Ultimate. I cannot get that out. So, $28. Product is from Mana Kadar. It is a lip whip in the shade Faith. I'm trying to get it on the oh yeah I can see darker than like your normal nude but I can see wearing this like anytime I didn't put a little bit of it on without going crazy because I have gloss on and I don't want to look like crazy for the rest of this video it is on over the gloss I think it is okay and I can't I mean I can't tell if it's like dry or anything because is on over gloss but one dollars um something in here is from avant i think last month i had gotten something from avant avant a v a n t um and they're expensive like stupid expensive but it says that they are from london england so this is the Avant Shea Butter Rice Bran Panthenol Polydicine. De polydicine? Polydicine? It says Age Radiance. Eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask. Apply a thin layer to clean dry skin. Allow to absorb into skin. No need to wash off. In the morning you should probably. But this is... Okay, this is 1.69 ounces, which I have one ounce containers that look bigger than this. This is $107. I thought that the Vaunt stuff that I got, yeah, the, like December was expensive too. $107. Better make my face, I don't know. I don't want it to look like whenever I was younger because I think my skin looks better now than I was younger, but better keep my skin looking like it is now. Seven dollars. In here is from Ace Butte. I think that's how I've been hearing BoxyCharm peeps say it. Neat packaging. And this is the Vintage Dawn palette. Oh, this is pretty. I think whenever I saw them do swatches, this is the one I want because the other palette, I don't remember what it was called, looked a lot like another palette I had, like something from that Violet, Big Violet Boss package. So this is the colors. Do a few swatches, not very many. Let's try the sun. Ooh, this feels nice. I have another Ace Butte palette, like another one probably came in a boxy charm, but this is sun. I don't wear very many yellows. So I'd like to see if that's a possibility. Because here's Daybreak. Ooh, that is, feels really nice for a matte shade. There's that. We'll have to see what I can come up with. Try to do like a sunrisey kind of look. I just got it all over me. Let's do Horizon. That is orange. Like, I'm try to do some sort of sunrise look. I don't know if it will happen. Serengeti, which is, looks like a little bit darker than the sun. 
shade. Ooh, that's pretty. That has a really nice shift to it. Do it's the blue one. This is kind of the shade that kind of drew me to it. But it's really pretty. It's almost it's almost silver with like just a tinge of blue. That's pretty as well. I'm excited to use. It was $34.99. So if we add up 107, mm-hmm. Total of $215.99. I think is it whenever I was watching somebody else's unboxing, I think they said that the $25 box is only supposed to be like valued over $125 and mine was $215. So that's even $100 over the suggested value of the box, but this booger right here did that. Just shoved it way over that price range. So it's come and it is unboxed. Maybe now whenever I do this, it will go to a try-on portion. So now to the try-on portion of this video. I'm now going to be doing the try-on portion of my BoxyCharm video. You can see my very large forehead. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to use is the Varsali liquid, Gla liquid glass. I almost said liquid gas. I have put on like my normal morning skincare routine. I'm not used to being so far away from my desk and it's kind of weird. Okay, I see people like Instagram people, they drip it all over their face. And I may have used way too much. Uh. That is shiny. If you see me looking over that way, that's where my big mirror is. Very glossy, you know my zit. It looks very gl glassy, I guess I should say, because that's what it's claimed to be. It's kind of sticky on the hands, but that could be touching the other skincare products that I used earlier. So the next thing I like to do is I go ahead and do my eyebrows before I do um, foundation. Best brows ever and brush out Universal brow pencil so I hope it's not too dark I've never really had a problem with universal brow pencils because I go in pretty light anyways pencil seems really like creamy it goes on easily I don't know if it's like Partially the pencil or partially, um, like having skincare products on. Oh my goodness. I, I will fix that. Just hold on. I see you. It doesn't look like that because no, that's too dark, but I usually can lighten it up quite a bit <laughs> and try to lighten this up try it never done this before take the brush that came with it looks really silly right now that is sculpted I guess you could say. Clear brow gel on. It's clear. This is the part where people would be like, oh, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. But sometimes I'm always like, I kinda wanna watch that. I like watching foundation get put on. And so I thought I would go ahead and film that portion. I just may speed this part up because I don't want this video to be forever long.
I am concerned that the concealer is going to be way too dark. I am going to go in with that same foundation, just in a darker shade. Neck is too pale for my face, so I'm going to go in and fix that. This happens all the time. To go over what foundation I use, I use the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour breathable, breathable foundation um it also has 20 spf 20 in it and i like never hear anybody talk about this foundation like i really like this foundation i'm fairly certain you can still get it i know i've gotten it on target on sale on like online so now i'm going to go in with the pretty vulgar concealer and the shade little white lies but like on earlier, I said that it looks like little peach lies to me because it is darker than what I would usually put underneath my eyes, but we're going to go for it, and if I need to fix it, I will. Yeah, that's really dark. It feels nice, but that is a little dark for me. I am actually very surprised that it's not too dark. It did very well. Set my under eyes with this Becca Hydra Mist that I've gotten in another box. I think it was Boxy Charm. is the bronzer. Now we can go in with the Sugar Peach Palette. Some peach honey and with this Moda brush I'm gonna go ever so lightly just kind of make that see this looks like a smudge right here on camera. It's not, I promise. Not a smudge. I'm doing some sort of yellowy orange look with the um, Ace Butte palette, which is totally out of my comfort zone. Totally. So I think I'll go in with the Sugared Peach Orange. Ooh, that picked up a lot. I hate tapping stuff away. I feel like I'm wasting. I'm going to gently pat that on. And then rub it in. I hope you can see this. It looks better than I think it does on camera. Because it's like picking up like a lot of the orange. I need to work on my lighting. A little bit more glow on my cheeks. I'm going to take that motor brush and kind of take peach pop. Ooh, that came up a lot. I barely touched. And kind of see if I can just make those cheeks glow a little bit nice glow right here. I hope whatever I'm editing this I'm like oh my goodness you look like a clown. I really like to save my highlight to the last because it's my favorite part but since we're using this palette I will go ahead and just do it. This is Peach Pearl. Okay. Oh boy. That's okay. I probably use way too much highlight. That is pretty. Oh. I love a good highlight. So now that we've got that done, we can move on to the eyeshadow. So I got the Vintage John from Ace Butte and I said I would tr attempt to do some sort of sunrise look kind of look. We'll go for it, right? Wish me luck. 
So I'm taking daybreak. And I am just going to put that in my group. First attempt with yellows. Like, I think the yellow eyeshadows are pretty. But I also think, when am I going to wear this yellow? When do I need a sunrise on my eye? There's the first layer went on nicely. Now I'm going to take this floofy kind of mascara brush and just kind of bring it up. I didn't put any more on the brush. I'm just taking what I had and bringing it up to make sure you can still see the yellow. We may put more on it later, just not right now. And then I'm going to take Horizon, the orange, which I think this is my first experience with orange too. So we shall see. And really just focusing it in the crease. Okay, got that. I'm gonna take my brush up a little bit here. Grand Canyon, it's a darker orange. And put that right there. I think I'm gonna take Sun. It's a shimmer shade. And just put it right here. I think I'm going to take that Serengeti color that I was raving about yesterday and just put it kind of in the middle. And kind of deepen up the middle. And this may not be a good idea. finger go get it mixed in on the skin I want to make sure that everything is blended in good so I'm going to kind of go with daybreak and horizon and just kind of go along the edge here Now I'm going to go strictly in with Horizon, the orange shade. So the internal temperature of my camera got a little too high, so it told me to shut off for down for a little bit. So hopefully I can finish this off. Um, I went ahead and finished up some of my eyes. I took like the daybreak and kind of brought it up with a fluffy brush. And then I put Golden Hour and Grand Canyon underneath on the lash line. So we're going to try to use these $54 eyeliner pencils. Oh, I found the brush I was looking for that I couldn't find. Okay, so I am going to take... I'm not going to... Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to use all of them. Saint Bronze. And... And I apply it to the wa waterline here just to see if it kind of shimmers things up a little bit here. What just happened? I hit my nose, my lip. Well, it didn't come off very good. So, I mean, it didn't like make a giant line down my face. So I don't know what that tells you. I feel like it's just not coming off very much or maybe it's just not showing up. I'm trying not to diss these expensive pencils. 
like I can see I, I can see the bronze more in the corner over here but I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not and maybe I will use all of them I'm going to use the Saint Nude and go in the waterline see if it brightens that up did it did I look bright pretty fresh Then I'm gonna go in with the black here lately. I've been trying to get back into like liquid eyeliner, not like a wing, but just going across here to like make the eyes just a little bit darker. Maybe I'll just kinda go in. This is awkward. I think it's coming off. I just don't know if it's getting me the same effect that if I would use my liquid eyeliner. It's just a little too dry for me. I feel like it just wasn't going on and it's kind of hurting my eyes. A mascara that I've gotten before in a boxy charm. That, that looks better. And then. I sometimes I go in with two mascaras, so I'm gonna go in with this popular Too Faced mascara. Blush. There we go. And the last step is lips. We have the Manicadar in the shade Old Faith. It's a lip whip. I'm not for sure how this goes with the look, but we shall see. This is probably the most nerve-wracking part for me, truthfully. So, it's a nice color. Mm, maybe it goes okay with this eye look. I'm not I'm sure. Let me see if I can scoot back a little bit and see if you can actually, like, Look how orange that is. I know I probably look ridiculous. Totally different from what I'm used to wearing. Oh, let me get my let me get my bangs back. So there's with my bangs back down. You can almost see the color better now on the camera whenever I put my bangs down. Maybe that the whiteness of my forehead was just taking away from the color. But I am surprised that I like this look. Um I don't know where I could wear this. It had to be like a weird just Saturday thing because I wouldn't wear this to work, I don't think. After all the other makeup and such got on, I don't think my brows seem as dark as I thought they were going to be like whenever I first put them on with no makeup. But everything else, I, I really enjoyed this look. So, thanks for watching this video. Bye. Oh my goodness. No, Duchess. No, no, no. I'm almost done. <laughs> My dog just tried to get in.